in a world where laughter meets serious social issues, Will Ferrell is once again making headlines, this time for a new Netflix documentary that has sparked a heated debate among fans. With the midterm elections around the corner, the comedian's film, Will and Harper, focusing on his transgender friend Harper Steele, was intentionally released to influence conversations. But while some viewers applaud his intentions, others accuse him of politicizing a personal journey. What's the real story behind this documentary, and why is it dividing fans right down the middle? Let's dive into the details. In today's video, we'll unpack the controversy surrounding Will Ferrell's new documentary, which chronicles his close friendship with Harper Steele and her transition later in life. We'll explore the reactions from fans and critics alike, from those who believe the film raises crucial discussions about transgender rights to others who think it's merely a distraction from pressing political issues. So, if you're curious about the intersection of comedy, friendship, and politics, stay tuned as we break it all down. Documentary Overview and Intentions Will and Harper showcases the unique bond between Will Ferrell and Harper Steele, capturing their cross-country road trip filled with laughter, challenges, and heartfelt moments as Harper navigates her transition. In an interview with Variety, Farrell explained the documentary's release timing, emphasizing that they wanted to ensure it premiered before the election to encourage important discussions in households across America. He expressed hope that viewers could watch the film with friends and family, especially those who might not share the same views, fostering open dialogues about transgender issues. However, this admission has not come without backlash. Many fans have taken to social media to voice their concerns that Farrell's film serves as a distraction from significant political matters, accusing him of using his platform to sway public opinion. Critics have pointed out that his status as a wealthy actor allows him to push a narrative that may not resonate with everyday Americans, stating he wants to distract anybody from actually looking at the record or policies of the Democrats. Divided Opinions and Backlash the reactions to Farrell's documentary are sharply divided. Some viewers believe he is pushing a political agenda, claiming that the release is an attempt to overshadow pressing issues in the lead-up to the election. Hollywood always thinks regular Americans are obsessed with their niche concerns, one critic remarked, reflecting a broader sentiment among those who feel that celebrities should refrain from influencing political discussions. There's also a faction of viewers who appreciate Farrell's supportive stance towards his friend and the intention behind the documentary. They argue that humor can bridge gaps and that this film might help normalize conversations around transgender issues, saying, humor can break down barriers and make tough topics more accessible. Yet, even this group acknowledges that the timing raises eyebrows, with some suggesting that while Farrell means well, he might be missing the mark when it comes to addressing the broader concerns of average Americans. Complex Conversations and Cultural Impact Adding to the complexity of this debate is the broader cultural context surrounding transgender rights, particularly discussions about women's spaces and sports. Some viewers have expressed that while they support trans rights, they feel uncomfortable with the notion of biological men competing in women's sports or accessing women's spaces. Yes, on how we need to protect women's spaces and sports from predatory men, one commentator stated, encapsulating the fears of those who feel that these discussions are crucial and should not be overshadowed by celebrity narratives. As the documentary gains traction, it raises essential questions about who gets to speak on these issues. Many critics highlight Farrell's privilege as a multi-millionaire man, arguing that his perspective may not align with those directly impacted by these discussions. I'll never understand why people think actors and performers are beacons of morality who can guide us in culture and politics, one viewer stated, underscoring the skepticism surrounding celebrity influence on societal issues. In conclusion, Will Ferrell's Will and Harper has undoubtedly ignited a firestorm of opinions among fans and critics alike. While some commend the film for promoting essential discussions about transgender rights, others argue that its timing and intent may serve to distract from more pressing political concerns. What are your thoughts on this debate? Do you believe that celebrities like Farrell should engage in political discussions through their work, or do you think it detracts from the issues at hand? Share your opinions in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more engaging content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.